Before getting started, make sure you have the tools required for the installation. Tools required include a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flashlight, and wire strippers. A voltage tester and electrical tape are also recommended and require a Matter-compatible smart home hub for setup and control from either Amazon, Google, Apple, or Samsung. To start, turn off the power to your existing device at the circuit breaker. Test your current device by turning it on and off to ensure no power is provided to the switch. Next, unscrew the existing wall plate and use a voltage tester to ensure no power is being provided at the switch location. Before removing the old device, it may be helpful to take a picture of the wiring to refer to later. Now, check your wiring. The hot or line wire receives power from the circuit box. Don't let the hot wire touch any other wire or the box if the power is on. The load wire directs power to your light. The neutral wire, usually a white wire, creates a path to return current to the power source when the light is off. This wire is required for your switch installation. The ground wire, usually a green or bare copper wire, provides a safe path for electricity in case of a short circuit. It is important to know which wire is the hot wire and which is the load wire. In the case of a three-way installation, you may have an additional wire present in the box. If you are unsure which wire is the hot wire, you can determine it with a voltage tester. Turn the power back on at the circuit breaker and use a voltage tester on each wire. The wire with no power is the load wire, and the wire with power is your hot wire. Once confirmed which wires are which, ensure power is off at the breaker. Your new smart switch comes with two existing wires coming out of the device, your neutral and ground wires, and features screw terminals for the remaining connections. To start, bundle the white neutral wire with the existing neutral wires in your electrical box by twisting them in a clockwise direction together and secure with the included wire nut. Next, bundle your switch's ground wire with the ground wire in the box. For the remaining hot and load wires, connect them to the corresponding screw terminals by inserting them underneath the terminal plate and screwing it back down. The screws are labeled on the back of the device as either hot, traveler load, or traveler. If controlling the light from two different locations, also known as a three-way installation, the switch must be installed on the line hot side. To wire for three-way, connect the two remaining traveler wires to load terminal and traveler terminal. It does not matter which traveler wire goes to which load terminal. Once all screws are secured down to the body of the device, carefully push the device back into the electrical box, ensuring wires are folded up behind the device. Secure the device to the box using the included long screws. Next, take the black frame from the back of the wall plate and attach it to the switch with the included short screws. Finally, snap the wall plate onto the device and frame. Now test the load by turning the power back on at your circuit breaker. Return to the switch and try turning it on and off to see if the lights come on to confirm a successful installation. After the installation is complete, the device is now ready to be onboarded to your smart home platform of choice. The second generation of Radiant Smart Lighting with Wi-Fi devices are Matter-enabled and require a Matter-compatible smart home hub for setup and control from either Amazon, Google, Apple, or Samsung. For more information, visit legrand.us slash matter.